Hey guys, so uh, today I'm going to be making this tutorial on how to create your own custom thumbnails for YouTube videos. I found a software that is pretty similar to uh, Photoshop, and um, but I find like it doesn't have all the features obviously because um, it's free, uh, but it works really awesome. I mean, if you don't have the money to spend on um, a software like uh, Photoshop, this is a great, great tool that you can use to create your um, thumbnails or banners or backgrounds on YouTube or whatever you want to use it. But today I'm going to show you how to make the thumbnails and it's really, really easy. So let's get started with the tutorial. Okay guys, so we're going to go to pixel.com slash editor and a uh, window is going to pop out. This is your editor, so you can create a new image, open image from computer, URL, or library. We're going to click on create a new image and here you are going to set up the name that you want to give to your document. In this case, I'm going to put thumbnails. Um, you can also edit the width and the one that I'm going to use is 480 and height it's going to be 268. Then click OK and that's your work area for your thumbnail. I like to resize it a little bit so I can see everything. So now go to file, open image and select the image that you want to use. This one is a hairball. So once your image open, make sure um, that you are just uh, in the tool area, the selection tool. Go to edit, um, select all, control A, and then you're going to drag the image into your work area. Oh, I forgot. This, this feature is just for Photoshop, so let's do another thing. We're going to go to edit and we are going to copy the image, go to our work area and paste it with control B. So once you have it there, you are going to do a, a edit free transform and um, you are going to resize the image as, um, as, as so the image can fit your work area perfectly. Uh, I don't know if you noticed, but I leave like a little space on the side so I can uh, put the titles in there. So that's pretty convenient if you do it. Uh, but if not, it doesn't really matter, but I like it to do it that way. Once your image is the size you want, you click outside the work area and confirm the changes. The next thing you are going to do is uh, you are going to add some text so you will go to your um, icon area and select the A icon that is the text and type the one that you want to do so this case is Halloween and I'm gonna select the font that I want and I want something Halloween-esque <laughs> wherever and um, the one that I'm looking for, it's with a G, but um, I have some trouble finding out. So it's Gartica or something, and I will find it in a little bit. So Garnetica. So you can change the color. It has H, S, L, R, G, B, Web, and Image. So I'm going to use Web since they are preloaded there and I'm going to pick this purple um, color for my Halloween font I click OK and oh, and select uh, the size that you want it I'm going to select the 40 and OK now go to your move tool and move the um, title as you want it I'm going to type again so go to my type tool and I'm going to type um, hairball and I'm gonna do another space and I'm gonna put tutorial uh, once you have it there you I'm, I'm trying to change the font so I can have a different like a contrast with the fonts so I'm gonna try I like Burbank I think the name is Burbank something 
so let me find the one per bank big so I know as you can see there is different I'm gonna pick the different colors too I'm gonna go for an orange one or maybe green no I think orange looks better so once you have it click OK and adjust the size I think look good I'm not sure if bigger or smaller um, probably the same size in 40 I'm not really sure mm, I think I'm gonna modify it um, yeah I think it's gonna be 40 if I can make it to at least stay in 40 so click OK once you do that sorry my mistake so once you do that select the layer that you want to edit in this case is Halloween so I'm gonna make this one a little bit bigger and it's gonna be 45 points click OK select your move to your moving tool and now adjust where you want your phone I'm gonna move hair with tutorial so I select the layer and now Halloween and go to uh, right click and select layer styles um, and what this is gonna do is drop shadow inner shadow be bevel so I'm gonna do a drop shadow you can select the distance opacity and size I don't want it, the distance of the shadow too uh, far away because it's gonna look weird so I just wanted to make a little uh, power option so select the size and then select OK that though a right click on the layer copy layer style and right click on herbal and paste the same style that way you will save some time and you will have the same styles there so now I'm gonna move uh, my herbal title and also the Halloween one so they can be in the middle but try to avoid the um, right the right bottom area because that's where the youtube beacon is so now what you're gonna do you are gonna t go to file and you are gonna click on save and you can change the name i'm gonna change it to thumbnail or one you can choose between J -A J -P -G, P -N -G, or any format but i'm gonna choose JPG because it's the most common and accepted. The quality is gonna be a hundred. That's because I want the higher quality and click OK. This will open a window, and in that window you're gonna click Save and your image is saved to your uh, folder. Now you just go to YouTube and change your custom thumbnail. I'm gonna just show you how you do it. So click there, select the thumbnail that you just made and wait until it uploads so there is there is your thumbnail and thank you so much for watching i really appreciate it save your changes and i hope you like this tutorial um if you want to see more tutorials using this free program just let me know and thank you so much for watching bye guys